Hey, thank you so much for coming back to my horrible channel yet again. Uh, I've got another like quick little unboxing. So, as you know, I've been hunting for a new bike. Well, I got that new bike. And now, of course, it comes with the shitty tires that always come with OEMs. Um, these tires, I mean, some people like I personally uh, do not. So I will be selling them brand new. So if you want them, let me know. But I digress. Um, so of course, I'm gonna put on my favorite tires. I found them about two years ago or whatever. Well, I shouldn't say I found them. I put them together like about two years ago or something like that on my old bike, my Marin Roof Zone 2. If I, had, if I had like a 40, I'd pour it for my homie. My, but he went to a great new home. He's with a really a nice young guy. He's like 16, I think, or 17. He's, a, he's just a shredder. The guy was doing like crazy stuff when he was trying out in my driveway. So, hey man, it went to a good home. So I'm pretty happy and pretty stoked about that. But back to what I was talking about, because I always sort of go around. I'm horrible at this, as everybody knows. Anyway, so what I've done is I've bought my tires brand new, again, with an added bonus, an added special thing. So without further ado, we will unbox these together. This is from a company here out in Canada called Fort Nine. They're like, I think they're like Montreal, I think. So kind of Canadian, but more French, but they're super nice guys. So we'll open these up together and we'll check it out and, uh, and we'll go through the, uh, the unboxing process. It's pretty much gonna be standard like the other one, but this is for a new bike. I won't unveil the bike yet, but I'll unveil it. Maybe you'll probably see it as I'm doing it because I'm probably gonna put them on when I'm unboxing the bike at the bike shop. So you might see that, but this will be a separate video. So it looks like it's just tires going on the bike <laughs> and some other cool stuff. Anyways, thank you. Let's open this sucker up and see what we get. All right, let's open up these guys. Woohoo! got my new, well, it's not that new, but hey, gotta support the Marines. Come on, baby. All right, so let's open these up. Man, now I know why guys are using awesome knives when they do the unboxing. <laughs> I was using X-Acto blades that were just super old and disgusting. And uh, yeah, it would take me forever. Okay, we got our seats here, we got this, we got bags. Okay, all right. Oh yeah. Oh, there's out of camera view so you can't see it. There we go. There's the Maxis Dissector. All right. Oh, backwards, there we go. And the Maxis as a guy. I think you say it as a guy, I'm not sure. Maybe it's ass and guy. <laughs> or maybe it's just ass guy, because I'm an ass guy. Okay, that's a whole other video. Anyway, so there's those bad boys. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, can't wait to get into those. And then, boom, 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 boom. I never got one of these before, but I wanted them, because it should match my bike awesome. There we go. Chris King. I got his tubeless valves. They're pretty awesome. This is the bourbon color. So this is my first time seeing them and they look pretty awesome. I mean, Chris King was, or is, sorry, it's still a great mountain bike. Man, when I was, when I was like, you know, coming up and, and really in the downhill scene and riding, that guy was awesome. Still is awesome. But yeah, I thought I'd get these because I've got a theme that's gonna play out within this bike build because I'm a huge loser and I like color. Anyway, all right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at these together. Okay, so with these guys, I kind of did the exact same thing as what I did last time, oops, last time around. Let's prop that up. So with, with the Dissector and with the Asagai, <laughs> I love saying that name, what I did was I got the, uh, let's see, let's see this here. So I went 3C, all right, the three compound. I went with the uh, Max Terra, EVO Plus, and of course, Tubeless Ready. That's a lot of acne rims. A lot of acne rims? That's not the way you say it. Acne. I, I can't speak this morning. Anyways, that's a lot of different things. Um, I don't know why Maxxis does all these crazy features and things, but the cool breakdown is I'll put this like with a video overlay and it'll talk about all those things. All right, so now we're back to the next part of the video, which was these tubeless valves I was talking about. So what I like about these, besides the cool color, 
is that these are going to be able to open up and make it even easier to like to get the air in and stuff while you're trying to put the put all the uh, compression air in while you're why you see this I don't know sorry there we go um, it just makes it really easy to go ahead there we go makes it easy to go ahead and get the air in as you're trying to do this with uh, with the sealant and all that stuff inside. Again, I'll put like another little, little info thing over top of this so you guys understand what I'm talking about. So now that I've kind of told you all about the tires and the uh, the tubeless valves I'm going to be using, let's uh, let's now go to the shop, which will be I think like two weeks from now. But with the movie magic, it'll be like within seconds, and then we'll get these suckers on my my new rims and on my new bike, and uh, yeah, they'll magically look awesome. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's go to the install process. Matt's getting the valves out for me. Look at these bad boys. I mean, come on, don't those look sick? That look pretty sweet. And I've heard lots of good things about these two, so hopefully they, they live up. We'll find out in a boat. Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes, oh <laughs> let's boy. Find if, let's find out if they seal or not. Jesus. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. I, but again, I mean, come on. No, they look great. They're Chris King by the, it's, I always get it wrong. Is it PDs? Is that what they call it? I think. Yeah, PDs, but uh, yeah, great reviews. And Chris King was was an amazing rider, so let's hopefully it's his his knowledge has, has been passed on to the valve stems. I have a coffee tamper at home. That's Chris King. It's, oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Just my espresso tamper. That's awesome. Look at that, look at that sucker going in. I didn't go super long though. I think these are the. Um, these are 60s. They're still pretty long. Are they 60s? Shit! I thought I got. Oh, there was longer. I think actually. Oh, that would be 80s. Yeah, which I. But this is this is pretty long. Yeah, that is pretty long. Hopefully, it doesn't. Uh, those. Yeah, those are. They're doing 40s. Not gonna 40s? cause any problems. Yeah, they're, they're long. Yeah, they're a little long. That's okay. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I'm horrible. And do those go in, does that go in deeper in the rim or no? Is that where it sticks out? No, it'd stick out right there. It just Is that where the other? A little bit more once I actually tighten it down and torque the actual uh, valve. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, no, it'll go right there. Is that where the other ones were or is this a little bit higher up? Uh, this is a little higher up, but it's kind of irrelevant in, in the fact where... Because um, the air, the stuff? Yeah, once the tire's actually inflated, it's not going to cause any issues. Okay. Awesome. And then we got the... the D sector, which I loved. I used those on the last bike too, and they were they were awesome. They really, really did a good job. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive. But they, they really hold well. Like I really liked the way that you'd be I'd be you know going through some really weird off camper stuff and it would just really hold the line nice, which is you know what you want. You don't want to go crazy and, and bail. I did bail a couple of times because I had too much grip. On oh, the front on the front tire was was a little It's not mounted by canal unless you're bailing. That's true. That is true. Alright, and that is the the 2.4, right? I think it's a 2.4. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Now, which now again, stupid question because you're gonna laugh at me. How do you know which way it goes? So these are directional. Um, some Maxxis tires um, are proprietary, both front and rear. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are just directional, uh, in which this uh, is forward facing. So mm -hmm. That's all you kind of have to. Look. That's it. So, so no one can screw it up. Uh, you can for sure, but. As long as you follow the directions, let's see if there's a rotational direction on the actual tire. And where's that? Yeah. So oh, just so just the follow the arrow. Direction. Okay. Yeah. So you just follow the arrow. Um, sometimes on the rear, um, they'll have uh, it'll be kind of multi-directional. So. Okay. Okay. I see. I'm not lost yet. It'll come later, but I'm 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 not lost totally yet. No, does you don't need to tape it or anything? It already comes pre-taped, so right? All that stuff. Up, it's already tubeless ready. Sweet. So it's so the tape's already there. Everything's all good. Um, there's a rim liner there that you don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, uh, yeah, you're always going to want some sort of. If it's not if it's tubeless compatible, you want to make sure that you have a rim uh, that has 
tubeless tape on it or yep. a tubeless rim strip. So. Yep, of course. I'm still digging that freaking color, dude. Oh my God. I can't wait to ride this thing. This thing shoots really well, like in my cases. And most people don't have anything compatible for 4K. No, I upscaled to 4K anyways when I when I edited it. So it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of funny. Use, I think. Yeah, well, no, these are, are these are pretty, pretty straightforward, I just want I love you're like not even wearing an apron or nothing, you're just like wearing normal clothes, you're like whatever. <laughs> no, it's good, it's professional. It means you're not gonna, you're not afraid of screwing up. That here. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Let's see if these valves are any good. Oh, that sounds good. That works. Let's see yeah. it. Okay, there we go. And you're just putting the core back in? Yeah, I'm just putting the core in. Okay. And then I'm tightening the core up. Cool. Let's go over the shoulder. I'll tighten the actual valve in a second as well. Okay. Should just be. So the guy with the beard just trying to get on film. store manager he's, one he's got employs me he's got the tats he's got the, the pretty hair as well everyone's got great hair here i could never work here except me no dude mine's worse mine's like shaved mine's i've given up the receding hairline is it's <laughs> for real ah it's only hair dude just just go joe rogan just shave the whole thing fucking off i was thinking since in life i'm insecure about my hair so i don't want to yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Matt, have you ever had anyone just videotaping you do stuff or no? No. Okay, cool. Well, you're, you're acting like a natural. Like Dave was in here earlier and tried to take his shirt off, which was a little bit inappropriate for the filming, but hey. He did. He's just doing it on yeah, film. Yeah, it's true. Like as soon as he sees cameras, he just reverts back to... <laughs> so everything's seated pretty good? Yeah, everything works. Oh, that's great. So my... my my 45 bucks was not in vain. Hey, what, uh, what should I run this as PSI for? What should I? Uh, so I, Maxis, I find tends to mark them pretty high. So they'll probably recommend like 50 PSI or something. Oh, good high. God. Cause I usually run around 30, 32. Yeah. Is that would, okay? Or? Like I would say, so yeah, they say 50, but I would run them at like 25, 30. Oh, we've that low way. Eh? Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a, it's a pretty low tire. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. All right. Actually. So we're just, uh, yeah, just sure. Oh, I like the way you put the Maxis on the uh, you match it up with the Bond Trigger. Yeah. Oh, look Sorry. at you, look at you, eh? Just all about detail. Matt is all about detail. All right, we do the old fashioned way. <laughs> Oh, listen to that. I'm going to be like, I'm going to scare bears. Yeah, they're going to sound fast. They're yeah, going fast. exactly. That's the most important part. I have a fear of bears, though. Whenever I ride, like, in, like, Huntsville <laughs> or, like, anywhere up, like, in the, in the Muskokas, like, Perry Sound, I'm always riding. I swear to God, I, I, I always think there's a bear following me. I have a bear phobia. I don't golf because I got chased by a deer. <laughs> <laughs> you get chased by a deer once when you're golfing? You'll never want to. I again. I've I've shot a lot of deer, and they're really good eats. So if they chased me, I would love it because then I could have like <laughs> dinner for a year. Oh, dude, look at that! My gosh, 
I'm liking that. I am liking it does, man, it does. So this is the the stem, tubeless stem, no, sorry, tubeless valve stem going onto the front bike. I really do, I'm sorry, but I just, I love the look of these things, holy Jesus. And I think the color, the color matches pretty closely to all my race face stuff that I bought as well. That I did purchase, I did get a discount from race face, but I did not get a like magnificent discount. Cause I kinda, I kinda pissed off the uh, customer service guy. But we won't talk about that. We'll just talk about how great race face products are and how much I enjoy using them on my bike. And how much this is gonna look awesome when it's all done. Get those steady hands. You should have been a surgeon, Matt. Well, as soon as you say that, I know. Slip. What is I was gonna say surgeon or serial killer, but I'm not. I think I think I think surgeon would be better. That's awesome. As you can tell, my YouTube videos are not quite kid friendly. But again, we need to like we need to recognize that this stuff is is. It's a trade as well. It's not just like kids anymore just building up crappy bikes. Like this bike here isn't super expensive, but it's still a $6,000 bike. It's, it's gorgeous. It's better than a lot of ex-girlfriends I've had. But what I'm saying is like you're working on anywhere from like $2,000 to $12,000 bikes, right? These are like- A lot of $20,000 bikes to be honest with you. Good God. You know what I'm saying? These looks like a motorcycle shop, right? So when you're, when you're a tech for mountain bikes nowadays, it's not like you're just, you, we don't want someone slugging and throwing stuff around and scratching it and banging the shit out of it before we do it ourselves on the trail. Exactly. Yeah, so I mean, this is a, an art form almost now. I would say it's more of an art than it is a trade at this point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna put the sealant in the front tire now. Look at the way he does this, see like, I would be spilling that all over the floor right now. My wife would be yelling at me. I'd probably try and drink it because it looks like some sort of a Kool-Aid drink. And, and don't let don't let the uh, the slim physique uh, fool you. Matt Matt did this with his hands out front. And sealed my other my other tire to the rim, like almost with his bare hands. So uh, he looks like one of those guys that does jits. You know, like you don't think he's kind of kind of techy, little nerdy, but he'll put you like in a rear naked and choke you out like in like five seconds. Look at those hands. I haven't done I haven't see I haven't done this yet. I've never done the sealant in a tire like a tubeless tire yet. It scares me. One of those things, that's just to pay somebody to do it. Exactly, exactly. I'd much rather have someone who knows what they're doing than me. There's only a few things in life I'm scared of. One is nuclear war, the second is tubeless tires, and the third is the Dutch. Just kidding. If anyone gets that movie reference, you win 10 points. Might want to skip this part. <laughs> yeah, whoa, look at this. Jesus, that looks like me. That looks like me back in high school. Uh, another bad reference. I'm sorry. Murder scene. Thank you. Bit of a murder scene there, but that's okay. We will get her done. Ooh. That's nothing. I love shooting 50 cals when I'm in Vegas, and that, that thing is so loud. Guys, what? I shoot a lot of guns, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, this is Cyril, that's the wheel in the back. Yes, the... Uh, the tubular. Yes, sir. So the front was a bit of a bitch. Was that because it was just a large, a little bit larger, or was it... No, it wasn't that big of a deal, it was just... I think my hands got a little nervous. Because I was videotaping, yeah, I yeah. got you. Video. Look how old I am, I'm saying videotaping. <laughs> I'm using a digital camera, I'm saying videotaping, oh my god. Well, at least you didn't get your pants dirty, so yeah, I don't feel bad for you. See, I don't go, I don't go home unless my hands are somewhat uh, beat up and dirty. Yeah, that's 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 when you know. Those hands, that's not. That's Whoa! Not. Holy Jesus! <laughs> Those are working man's. Those are working man's hands. 
Unlike mine, mine are, mine are very pretty. Mine are very pretty. Yeah, mine are not meant for manicure, that's for sure. <laughs> Can, hopefully this is going to go in the front wheel, right? Yes. Okay, good. Because I got a little scared there for a second, man. I feel violated. <laughs> I like that we're greasing everything up because I didn't grease up hardly anything on my last bike. And I'd be out in the trails, no one around, and I'd be squeaking coming from like different parts of my bike. It was, uh, it was not cool. Look at this. Just in one hand. Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to come to life now. So through axles go to 10 newton meters, generally speaking, at least on the rear, I believe the front goes to eight. Okay. The rear is now lubed up. And now is that a quick release one as well, or is that? The sit through axle. But with like a quick release, like through axle thing on, or is that, what's that for? Uh, so this is just, uh, so this actually comes off. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is just for the side of the road. Oh, okay. To get flat on the side of the road, uh, this comes off. Oh, that's it's sick. It's a five mil. So. Oh, that's awesome. I even that's that's freaking awesome. So, so I can just take that off and leave it in my truck, or. Yeah, you can keep my, it on the bike. You can keep it in your saddlebag. Generally yeah. speaking, it's just kind of handy to have. No, that is. Um, cause especially if you get it flat, you got to put a bacon strip in. Something happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You always can take it off. So. That's awesome. I had no idea what that was. Cool. All right. It's a cool sound. And then we're just screwing it on here. Awesome. Oh, that just sounds so cool. Jeez Louise, look at this. The bike has got tires on it now. Maxxis tires.